I hope that you are doing well and you are keeping safe. Today I want us to look at another English lesson. Uh, and today we are going to talk about the tongue twister, or other tongue twisters. Now, when we talk of a tongue twister, we are referring to a phrase that is designed to be difficult to articulate. It's very difficult to articulate, but if you have a lighter tongue, then you'll be able to articulate the tongue twister very well. So, we shall use a tongue twister in a word, uh, a word game, a spoken word game. So it's kind of a game that you're going to learn, but it's assisting us how to articulate some words very fast. Uh, I'll give you some examples here. I have two examples. One is quite short. You can try reading it very fast. So we should read tongue twisters very fast. So I want you to try wherever you are, wherever you're watching me from, Try with whoever person is next to you and see whether you can be able to read these tongue twisters or articulate the words properly. So for example, uh, if you listen to how I'm going to read these tongue twisters, one, I might be unable to articulate the words properly the way they are written, and two, I might also uh, be able to articulate them properly but very fast. Now you find that we say it's a a spoken word game. Why? Because it brings out some humor. It brings out some humor to people and it makes people laugh. So, for example, number one, we can say, in short, we say three free throws. Three free throws. But if, if, if that is a normal reading. But when you talk about a Christian, we say three free throws. Three free throws. Three free throws. Can you try that? Uh, they have said three free throws. So that's how we articulate those words when we're talking of tongue twister. Three free throws, very fast. Three free throws, three free throws. So can you try and articulate them to the person who is next to you? Three free throws, that way. So I also have written a very long one, which basically might sound quite hard for me to articulate, but I'm going to try it out because I need to show you how we do it. So I want you to read with me here as I read it on the board together with you and I articulate the words that are written. You can see that we have so many P's, a lot of P's here and they are supposed to pronounce all of them. So I want to start. If you can start with me, well and good. Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickle pepper. If a peck of pickle pepper Peter Pepper picked, where is the peck of pickle pepper Peter Pepper picked? Are you heard? So that's how we read the tongue twister. Can you try and do it? They have done it. For example, say Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pe a pick. Sorry, Peter Piper picked a peck of a pickle pepper. If a peck of pickle pe pepper Peter Piper picked, where is the peck of pickle pepper Peter Piper picked? So, we can read very fast, I repeat again, very fast. Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickle pepper. If a peck of pickle pepper Peter Pepper picked, where is the peck of pickle pepper Peter Pepper picked? As simple as that. So, in your booklets, you can look at your booklets. Uh, I've drafted some few uh, tongue twisters in there. I want you to try it uh, with, your, with your parent or with whoever person who is next to you, try and go through the work, read and read and read, uh, and then try and articulate the words they are, they are written and pronounce them the way they are supposed to be pronounced. So on page 15 in our books, in our booklets, kindly do the work, do the exercise for me or rather for yourself, for your own enjoyment, make some fun. Tell your mom to try it out for you and listen, you, you, uh, try it out as you listen. Tell your dad also to try it out. It's kind of a fun. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.